The Thames is a major archaeological site. The river has literally dug a trench right through the city of London. Through the objects you find, you can get to learn about the people that lived by and on the Thames. I'm a ceramic artist and I do a lot of work based on the Thames. Mike very generously has lent me a lot of his collection. I've made clay moulds out of them. From that, people can take casts from them. We've got a one-armed policeman, a teddy bear which in fact used to be a, a Victorian child's teething, uh, had a teething ring attached to it and a little rattle inside. We discovered we could tell a lot of the history and the story of the Thames through archaeology and ceramics. We've been working with young people in Southwark. We've also been working older people from the, the local area. And those casts are going to be the first casts to go down onto the beach um, on our big public art day. People just really love the tactile quality of clay. So this project gives them the access to get their fingers into clay, to press it, to see how malleable it is. Basically anyone from sort of one right through to 101 can take part in it. So for the first time in a very long time, people will be making things with clay on the banks of the Thames. Today has been the culmination, the, the grand finale of the project that we've been running over a couple of months. What we've done today is to mark out the line of the Tudor Causeway. It's 30 metres long. It was absolutely amazing. People just playing with clay, getting a feel for the clay, and then actually coming down and making their own offerings to the river. It's been quite magical. We got the entire causeway covered in clay tiles made of artefacts that have been gathered from the river over the years. What we're referencing here is um, ancient rituals. Throughout history, people have made offerings to the river from prehistoric times and even in Christian times. A lot of those things have been taken from the beach, put into museums and into private collections. And what we've done today is to return several hundreds, if not thousands, of artefacts to the river.